the sun is setting here in the south of Israel. You can hear the predator drone uh, over top us here and, and, and missions upon missions. Day blends into night, night into day. Uh, sleep is different when you're in the army than when you're out of the army. You don't really get necessarily a night's sleep. You're up all night protecting, defending the citizens here. Otherwise, we would be invaded again. Uh, 9,250 people have been injured. That's what the defense ministry said with predictions of 14,000 by the end of the year. And there's still an increase of, of attacks. I mean, Hezbollah escalating their rocket fire. As you heard in my last video, you know, our head administrator at the Aliyah Return Center. So the administration who does all the bookings, her, her sister and, and her sister's husband were hit, direct hit on their moving car by Hezbollah evil, evil um, terror group shooting hailstorms of rockets and um, and they plan to invade the Galilee with their suicide force of a thousand five hundred people, the Redouan, part of the Redouan force. Um, and at the same time, at the same time, there's all this talk about a ceasefire that will actually stick, that might actually happen. Well, in the U.S., they're talking about it. The negotiations, they say, they're very they're optimistic about this and um, that neither Hamas nor Israel would control the Gaza, but a group of, a new group backed by the, by moderate allies, maybe with an international coalition from the United States and, and the UN and, and uh, I don't know. And it would be a three-stage agreement is what they're talking about. You know, first of all, they have to release 33 hostages. Why 33 and why not the whole 120? I don't know. They release 33, including all the female captives, men over 50, and then we have to immediately release uh, hundreds and hundreds of, of murderers, terrorists. And what are they, I wonder what they're gonna do, like Sinwar. What did Sinwar do when he was released? Um, they're there for a reason. Uh, phase two, Hamas and Israel would accept an interim governance plan, like some coalition, maybe with Saudi Arabia, maybe uh, Mohammed bin Salman, maybe. And then starting to reconstruct the hospitals and, and major infrastructure, phase three, I don't know how long each of these phases are, but phase three would be the remaining uh, male IDF soldiers released and they better stop shooting. They better stop planning another invasion. They better stop. And uh, they're, they're running kind of low. I know they can feel the squeeze. I know that we're, we really are advancing. We really are finding and destroying a lot of tunnels. Um, but it really, people think this would help normalize relations with Saudi Arabia, biblical Kedar. And so normalizing relations with Riyadh would be just... That would be amazing. I think it's got to happen. But people just got to be careful when they're dealing with God's land, God's people, and how Joel chapter 3, I think it's just good to remember this, that in those days and at that time when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem and I gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and I will judge them for dividing my land. So remember that.